Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. My testimony goes like this. I thank God for healing me heart's problem. Choose it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Early July, I saw myself in a serious condition. I thought that maybe the pain will come and go to breathe. I will struggle with my breathing, pains all over. I said, God, please take away this affliction for me. I continue. There's a stage in which even if I'm walking, I will be weak. I will be holding my heart. I remember that daddy said, if you have a problem, don't miss service. I will encourage myself. I'm going to the service. When I'm coming, I will go at the park and lie down. But there's something that happened the first week of August. That day, I couldn't wake up. That day was Tuesday. I said, no, that voice came to me. I said, my daughter, stand up and go to church. I came. I came late that day. But when the daddy was praying, he mentioned my case. I claim it. My daughter called me, mommy, do you? Daddy have mentioned your case. I said, yes. I said, today God will not pass me by. And when he was running up, he mentioned it again. I said, that is final. I can't be in this condition. I have a lot of work to do for my God. After then, I went home. I was in the, in the dream. I saw myself in our home, in village. My late uncle that died for many years ago, I saw him wearing my clothes. My uniform, he wear the skates. I say, ah, uh -uh, uncle, how can you wear my uh, my minister clothes, my choir clothes? He was looking at me. I said, uncle, remove it, remove it. He remove it. I said, where is the top? He now bring out one back, and ah, uh -uh, he bring out the top. I saw many of my clothes. I start gathering everything. I saw money they tied. In one of the handkerchief and put in a, I say, he said that the money is not my own, it's my mother own. I said, my mother is my uh, is mine. I collect everything. So when I was going, himself, he they prepare oil, gallon of oil for me to carry and come back to Lagos. So on the way, when I enter the uh, Okada that to carry me to where I would enter the motor that uh, the vehicle that coming back to Lagos. The other man now came me to run to heal and value. I don't know. I saw myself in, in another world. And when he dropped me, I look at people that are around there. They were strange. They were gathering and they were rejoicing. And another, maybe somebody came. <laughs> and I asked the other man, I gave him 15 naira to give me 10 naira back. He was delaying and I collected my change. He left. I was wondering, say, where will I go from this place? So I uh, overheard them, they are discussing, say, another soul have come to them. I said, uh -huh. And I look, look around, look around. I said, this person resembled my relative of my mother. So when they over this and day is getting dark, and I shout, I am not of so so person, you know. One of them now shocked and turned and look at me. He looked at me. He now whispered to them, say, ah, when I was in the world. I love the mother so much. He now stand up. He now come where I was sitting down. He said I should follow her. Brethren, I start we are, I follow her. We are walking. Today said that there is a place I start vomiting. I was vomiting. What I, I vomit, I don't know. I was vomiting, vomiting. The gallon of oil that I but the more I vomit, the gallon of oil was coming down. The more I vomit, the thing was drying. To this day, I vomit. To this day, the, the oil dry. When I want to complain about the oil, he said, I should keep my mouth shut. I should just do hand in his mouth. He said, I start following him. When I start following him, I reach a point, he do hand like this. He said, 
Look at the way that leads to your village. I now put immediately. I, I just enter the road. I wake up. When I wake up, I I, I can't feel the pain again. I saw something removed from me. Even though if I wake up, I will be managing to how to stand up. But that day, I just wake up, start singing, praising God. My husband was looking at me. My brother and my sister, I don't know what the enemy has planned. But our daddy said that there's not a choosing that will die a day before his time. And God restored. More I come to service, I saw my strength, my man, the everything, all the feverish, all the pains, all the symptoms, everything disappeared. Clap unto God of choosing. I appreciate him by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So, after that healing, Daddy, on Sunday, that second month, he said, you that have drawn life out of you, I rest. I restore you back. Life was coming. I don't think even my children were saying, ah, mommy, this is a miracle. I said, that is God of chosen for you. Yeah. I saw myself again in my village. I went to that my uncle and I couldn't find him again. I was asking my mother, where is my uncle? He said, ah, he said, I has died for many years ago. Why am I looking for a dead person? I now wake up. I said, God help finally take over all my life. My brother, my sister, is only a living can praise God. I, I don't know what they have concluded because in my family, we are two in a choosing. It's like war. And my brother, he has gone back to the world. It's only me that's standing. But I thank God for reversing their plan over my life and my family in the name of Jesus. Amen. I come here to return all the glory all the honor, praises unto this God of choosing that have restored me back. This one is not the first, it is not the last. And then this one can be uncountable time, but God has still given me victory over them. Because my, my pastor said that no a chosen shall die over, uh, that die, no, none of the chosen shall die. A day before their death. Yes. So I really thank this God of choosing for making it for making me to be alive among the living. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I stand there and I tell God, I don't know, it's because of me that my spiritual father answered this call. If it's not this call he answered, I don't know where I will be. My prayer that's for my daddy that. That God Almighty that started with him, he will end well with him, Jesus' name. Amen. Anywhere he go to spread this gospel around, the God Almighty he will stood by him day and night all the days of his life. God will guide him and protect him in Jesus' name. All those that are working to see that this movement that no, as they gather, those that gather against Moses in the wilderness and they did not have God made the ground to open and swallow them. Anyway, they gathered against my spiritual father and his family. As God opened and swallowed those that are against Moses in the wilderness, so shall God open and swallow them in Jesus' name. I cover my spiritual father with the blood of Jesus and his family with the blood of Jesus. I pray that at the end, he will wear his crying in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for all the chosen worldwide and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. Clap unto God of choosing. I appreciate him by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Now, second to the last testifier for the morning service. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Peter Onyebuchi. I came to choosing 2004. I worship here at the headquarters. I live at Ijesha. My testimony goes like this. I want to thank God for healing me 
from a mysterious sickness that lasted for two years plus. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I started experiencing this sickness 221 May. I had so many experiences, terrible experiences. I machiated, I became something else. I had panting of the heart. I had difficulty in breathing. I had stomach problem. I had the uh, uh, abdominal problem, pain, my normal abdomen. I couldn't stand. I couldn't do anything. At a time, I had dislocated uh, hip. I had dislocated shoulders. Everything was just coming one by one while I was sick. But I dried up. I became something else. But one day, I, I had the opportunity to see our daddy. That was last year, last year, April, first of April. And uh, after Gio's prayer, after I explained everything to Gio, and daddy prayed for me. That was how the Lord restored me. I am healthy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So, I want to thank God for healing me because now I've gone back to what I used to do for God before. I'm an evangelist by the grace of God. I've gone back fully. Hmm. Uh, I've added more services to what I do for God. So, I give God all the glory for healing me. Thank you, Father. I pray that His name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly, my second testimony, um, the last time we had the Midi Crusade at Imo State. Before then, my husband already laid foundation. He was building in the village. So he, was not, he, he did not have that chance to be traveling all the time. So he handed it over to somebody to be doing it for him. So at the time, he will be asking them, they say, the building is at Linta level, and he, at the end of the day, when he traveled for that Timberi Crusade, he got home, you know, to check on the project, but he found out that there was nothing happening, so just uh, a premature sketch. In fact, the sketch we, uh, he gave to them to do was, they did another thing altogether, they did nonsense. So my mother came back that day, the problem was still going on. He came and called me, and then he was not happy. He told me that he didn't want to ask them anything, so that he didn't want to create a say. He just wanted to come back and then look onto God. But he had, there was a hundred thousand there he had, he wants to give to them. But when he got back, he got back there, he saw that they, they were not doing anything. He came back with the money and sold it to God. That was. There was a place that he made that in Billy Crusade. I didn't know if it's the stadium or the signs and wonders of age. I can't remember between the two. My husband sold that seat for. And after that, by the grace of God, that was uh, two years ago, someone came up. My husband, this person, my husband has seen this person for the last 30 years. And this person lives in the north. Why we live here in Lagos? The person came to my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and said that she wants to finish that building. Hmm. We thought uh, it was a play. And the man knew that all this while daddy was playing, praying that uh, one day we will be among them that, that God will build house for free of charge. So that was how the woman started the project, brought down the ones that were there before and started from the scratch. The woman built the building, finished it, mm. painted it, wired it, furnished it mm. with everything. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Are you referring to the building your husband started? Yes, sir. Wow. So, by the grace of God, today we can travel to our own house in the village. Mm. So I want to thank God, even after my husband made that pledge, the 100,000 Naira, he still continued to make pledges. And I supported him. You know, I was in full support. When he come back, he would tell me that he make pledges. For, so I said, I'm in full support. You don't need to bother yourself. 
Any places you want to make for the Lost Season Church, for any project in this church, go ahead. I'm in full support. So I want to thank God. This God of choosing surprise that we never knew that that was coming. Hmm. We never saw it coming. But God proved himself, glorified his name, and proved to us that we cannot give more than him. Hmm. So I want to give God all the glory. I want to thank him for what he has done for me and my husband, my entire family. I pray that the Lord who has done this may his name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the Lord will also visit you too in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to encourage you to stay put. Because when I was sick, nobody knew that I was going to survive it. Many people saw me, but now when they saw me, they see me now, they will know that God is faithful. Mm. The God of choosing, He knows how best He does all these things. So I want to give Him all the glory. I want to thank Him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Before you round up, I, I saw you when you were sick. Yes, sir. It was terrible. I want to ask, do you have a picture of that state when you were sick? Do you, have any, do you have any picture of it? Yes, sir. Yes, so we'd like to have that picture. If possibly you had tests you did, or the test results, whatever the doctors called it, because you were really, really sick. She, I, I, I saw her when she was, I don't know who, who saw her. Yes, many of us know her. She was really, really sick emaciated, lost weight, total. As a matter of fact, you will say she was near death. So I, I rejoice seeing her always. Whenever I see her, I always tell her congratulations because God has chosen conquer death in her life. God has chosen conquer death in her life. So we'd like to see that picture and we want to hear your testimony in a larger congregation. Next Sunday is combined service. We want to see you. If you have test results, bring all of them. If you have the picture of when you were machiated, you were really, really down. You were really sick. So we want to see the picture so that we can really confirm that truly God of choosing did a great job in your life. Clap unto this God of choosing. Thank you, Father. And if you can also bring the picture of the house, God of choosing built for your family, we'd like to celebrate that testimony. Yes, sir. Let's clap unto the God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So Sunday combined, we want to see you, want to hear your testimony afresh. You can conclude now. I pray for my daddy and his entire household. I always pray for you, daddy and your family. Even when I have no strength to pray for my family, for myself, I just pray for you and your family. Because I know that when I pray, and when I do that, my own case is settled. I pray that the Lord will bless you. Amen. I pray that the Lord will help you. Amen. I pray that the Lord will uphold you Amen. and comfort you. Amen. I pray that your enemies, the Lord will bring them down to judgment. Amen. I pray that as you are admonishing us and ministering to us, that at the end we will make heaven. I pray that you and your entire family will make heaven a blast in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus Lord Christ. Lord of Jesus in Christ. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate him by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. The last testifier for the morning service. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Chosen people praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But what can I sing? Yes, ma, you can sing, please. It is over. It is over. The dominion of Satan it is over. The dominion of Satan it is over. It is over. It is over. The dominion of Satan it is over. 
song. It is over. In Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Sister Charity Uzoku. I started worshiping God of Chosen in this very hall. That time we call it Old Auditorium. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am here to appreciate God for all he's doing for me and my family. And my reason of standing before you here, there was a sister that gave testimony on a Sunday. Our sister said many of us are hiding our testimonies. That the Spirit of God ministered to her. That we should come out and give testimony. She pointed out some points and some testimonies which God gave to me. So that mandated me to come out. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the first place, I want to appreciate God of choosing for the successful journey mercy he gave to me and my husband from UK to Nigeria. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I want to appreciate God of choosing for genuine salvation he gave to me. Thank you, Father. My brethren, I have realized that this our church is church from heaven. Mm. It's God's kingdom. Mm. My testimonies will reveal it to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I came to understand that there are different kinds or categories of sin. So I'm going to tell you my own aspect of sin. Before I joined the choosing, I was into attachment. The attachment I use is not anyhow attachment, but you, the one they call amingos, human hair. To the extent I made arrangements, they used to bring it to me from a do-matter. I was a teacher by then. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And again, I was into use of necklaces, bangles, cortex, uh, painting, and decoration. In fact, when people ask me that time, what is my beauty? I will say it is Jesus Christ. But I did not know that I was into sin. I did not know I was into serious sin. So it was when I joined the choosing. And our daddy in the Lord started to hammer it on me. He told me attachment is sin. He referred me to the Bible passage I agreed it is sin. He referred me to the Bible passage that bangle. Necklaces, the type of necklace I use is a tiny one but very costly. Bangles, the same thing. You may see it, you say it's, it's small, but it costs much. I bought it with much money. To the extent I used to sell it, when I buy, I will select the one I want. So our daddy continued to hammer it on me. I dropped that one, but I didn't throw it away. It was in the house. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Gradually, I continue to drop them. But on a faithful day, I came to church. I decided to use the one, we call it, um, we call it pinball that time. Because I used to sell it. I used to import it from my uh, United Kingdom. My name is in the infantry where they make it. So they import it to me here. I was planning to be the sole trader, to the whole di distributor of that uh, pinball all over Africa. But on that faithful day when I came to the church, because I decided to wear it, I said, okay, I'll be wearing only this one. Our daddy in the Lord started to have all the 
preaching that day was on me. To the extent he said, you have decided to wear that full stop. You said, okay, I drop all that ones. You wear the full stop. Let me tell you, the full stop will stop all your blessings, if you don't know. So before you know it, with my two hands, I took this, I took this, I dropped it here in the old auditorium, here. The Lord knows where it is. I know I dropped it here. So after receiving the raw message that day, now I took the decision in the presence of God here. That when I, because our daddy in the Lord said, do not give it to anybody. If you give it to anybody, you are spreading sin. Okay, I took the decision. I said, when I reach home, I'm going to burn everything to ashes. So as soon as I reach home, I gathered, uh, I gathered all of them, the ones I have used and the ones that are in a cattle that I'm here to use. With kerosene, I went outside. The Lord God Almighty, God of choosing, gave me a, remark a remarkable sign that day. As soon as I lighted those uh, items, with kerosene, the flames went up. As soon as all of them burnt down, there came rain. It was on a bright sunny day. There was no sign of rain. Rain started falling. Hmm. I won't forget it. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the journey continued. My second testimony is how God of choosing gave me and my family victory and restoration over the enemies. Our family is a polygamous family. My husband is the first son from the first mother. Now my husband is, is his right to give land according to tradition to his uh, Sorry. To his half brothers. So he has given every one of them. Now the plan against my husband, because he's only my husband and my children. It was only last year, 2023 and 22, we did not come back to Nigeria. Last time, every year we are coming to build a house, but these children will not allow us to build a house in our own compound. So my husband will say, ah, you call police, he will do this, he will do that. I say, leave them. God of choosing is at war. He will fight the battle for us. Despite all the money we spend and every other thing, when we stay, stay, we go back to UK. So last, when we came back, Last Tuesday, we came back on Monday. I, I came to service here. And our daddy in the Lord, as he was preaching, he said, God is going to expose your enemies. I claimed it. I did not know he was talking to me, even though I said, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, God of truth, even that day, that day the Lord sent the thunder to the villages to go and blast and whosoever that is serving as a hindrance. So, God of choosing exposed the enemy. Since we could not build in the village, one of my sons decided to build a house at a wedding. Now he said, Mommy, yeah, mommy and daddy, there is no way he cannot include these people. Now he included one of them as the chief engineer. Choosing, do you know what he did? Now this, my husband's half brother, planned with the chief engineer. If my son sent let me say four million naira 
into the account. This man will plan with the engineer. They will take away two million. Mm. If he send five hundred thousand bags of cement, they will share it into two. Mm. Rod the same thing, just to mention, but a few. So to the extent when my son call, how is things going? They will say it's going, but we need this, we need that. My son said, but I sent so so and so to you. So to call the matter short, my son came back home. When he came back, he saw that they collected everything. Then he began to interview them. That was how God of choosing exposed them. Anyway, they have brought some of it, still remaining. I want to appreciate God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank I you, want God, to of choosing. God of choosing. I want to say thank you to God of choosing because the affliction will never, never rise the second time again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, as I made mention of the sister that gave testimony on Sunday, our sister said money, there was money coming from heaven. Some hundred naira, fifty naira, one thousand as the case may be. I want to say I am among them that received that money. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I came back from UK, because I, I, use, I love watching our online uh, programs. One of the online programs going on that day, our daddy in the Lord was preaching as usual. So I was enjoying the preaching. Before you know it, sleeping, sleep entered my eye. So I closed my eye. I did not know God wanted to tell me something. Before you know it, I saw, as my character is, I don't like to be fussy. Where I was, I heard the voice of our daddy in the Lord. I didn't even know he knew me. He said, where is Sister Charity? I was over there. An angel said, oh, Sister Charity, come, 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 come. So I ran. Immediately I ran to that place. That in the Lord was holding back. He was about to go. He had shared money to others. Remaining me. Immediately I stretched my hands, my two hands, he handed them to me. What I saw there was money and gifts. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's my testimony. I want to pray for our daddy in the Lord. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 17, verse 5, verse 5 said, And the Lord established his kingdom in the hand of Jehoshaphat and the entire Judah brought presents to him and he was and he had riches and honor in abundance I want to pray that anointing of riches and honor will be the portion of our daddy in the Lord and Amen. family Amen. from generation to generation in Jesus name Amen. the presence of God of choosing God of almighty will dwell with them in Jesus name Amen. we will be around them we will be before them during the day during the night in Jesus name Amen. my dear brethren I want to pray for you I say this God that gave me and my family upliftment, victory, dominion, restoration, went as far as exposing our enemies, will deal treacherously with all your enemies and victory will be yours forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Amen. I cover myself and my testimony with blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ.
Let's appreciate the God of choosing by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Brethren, we have received the report of what happened in Cote d'Ivoire. The choosing online media crew has given us a list of some of the miracles, the instant miracles that took place in that program. We have in their list 10 years swollen body healed immediately after our pastor's prayer. Also, nine months paralysis healed. Three years stroke healed immediately after his prayer. 25 years born deaf and dumb healed immediately after his prayer. These are instant testimonies. Nine months paralysis healed immediately after his prayer. 16 years broken bone healed immediately after the prayer. Even we have three years broken bone healed immediately after the prayers. Are we clapping unto God or choosing? We also have in report five years stroke healed, two years waist pain healed, 23 years heart problem healed, nine months blindness healed, eight months stroke healed, three months stroke healed, eight years stroke healed, eight months paralysis healed. Two years stroke healed, two weeks stroke healed, five years leg poison healed, and the climax of all the testimonies, violent insanity. A man that had been violently insane, and they knew him in San Pedro, everywhere in that 